All right, I'm going to show you how I make the runners, and I'm setting up the mounts for the runners. And I'm working with a new camera here, so should make things simpler. But the runners are going to be mounted right in here in this piece. And this is basically what I got to start with. I'm using uh, Dubro's 2 by 3 8 socket head sheet metal screws. Which is nice because you can use one of these fancy screwdriver thingies here that's like an Allen wrench head. You won't be slipping out of them. So anyway, what I'm doing, I get a piece of brass flat stock. And I believe this is like a half an inch wide. Yes, it is. And what I'm doing is I'm measuring up about an inch. Got about an inch. I make my mark. Take my little mini square. Make a mark. So I know it's straight. And then I'm just kind of eyeballing centers. I'm offsetting these so I don't split the wood. The wood. If you put them straight in line, you got a good chance of splitting the wood. Even though you pre-drill the wood with a smaller drill to start with. I'll get back in focus here. So I kind of offset these a little bit. And I believe I'm using a 332nd drill bit. And I'm drilling the holes now before you go off and bend it. it makes it a lot easier to hang on to. And if you're really scared, you can use a pair of pliers to hold the piece. And then when I'm ready to drill, I get a block of wood, lay my piece on there, I'm holding it, take my drill, do your thing. Then what I'm doing, I got this little here bench vise kind of thingy. Off that line, I'll do it with this one. Come back a little bit. room here. What I'm doing is I line that line up and just get it just above the surface a bit. Don't snug it down yet because now you're going to use your little mini square. And you're going to take that little mini square and I also got a little tack hammer here. Now your square is going to get jammed up in those grooves so you want to go off to the side a little bit. And what I'm doing is seeing that this is parallel to my square which is not sticking out to the right a little bit so I just tap it in a bit a little bit too much I can push it back over a little more tapping now I got it now I can snug that down good and check it again and that's just a little tear hair more This piece may not be all that straight either, but then what I can do is take my little pen torch, apply some heat to it. Get some heat to it, get it the metal to soften up a bit for you. start bending that over. You can use your block of wood. Get bent it over and what I usually do too, if I can find it, use a bigger hammer. Beat that down nice and flat. Let it cool off of here. Now you got yourself a nice little 90. Get yourself a little 90, and then what you can do is take your square, put that up in there. Sometimes they overbend depending on the vise you're using. Uh, you can use two pairs of pliers. Uh, what I'm using here are Lyman's pliers, they're flat. You can grip it one way, use your other pliers, bend it over, grip this good and tight, and you can get a nice square corner. If it's a little bit rounded more, that's okay. 
And I'm using uh, what I say they were the three, the two by three eighths screws. And they'll go in like that. I'm leaving this extra long right now because I don't know exactly how high I'm going to go up. I still got the front end to do. And let's just say, for example, this is going to be my runner. This is actually the brakes for my ice racer number two. And those prop up the bottom. Get an idea of height. Solder that so. And then you. You can just trim off the excess. We'll get to that point later. These are our three quarter inch blocks. And my keel, it's kind of hard to see with all the shadowing and all that. But I say there's probably close to a half an inch of ground clearance here. And I also have a three quarter inch block up under the nose. So what I'm going to do is measure down up from the top of this to my surface. And I'm getting about three quarters of an inch. No, about an inch, I'm sorry. So we don't want this touching the surface. If this was my runner, that's the width of my runner, I want to come about halfway down when I go to solder it. So I'm measuring off the top of this. I'm going to go, oh, let's see. Looks like maybe, no, nope, half inch is not enough. Maybe one, two, three, four, five, five eighths. That's giving me oh, about a quarter inch to solder to, which looks pretty good. So we'll go with five eighths from the top of here to the five eighths from here. I'll actually be on the inside. Five eighths from here down. I'll make another line, use my Dremel cutoff wheel, and shorten that up. Alright, now you can see I've gotten it cut. And what I also do at this point, I'll take my little cutting wheel here. Where are we? There we are. Take my little cutting wheel and just kind of lightly, don't press too much because you'll shatter the hell out of that thing and embed it in your forehead. Wear your safety glasses, goggles, face shield, something. What I do is it's rough up that surface a little bit. Just on one, that one side, facing the outside. And then this is, say this is going to be my runner. It's going to get soldered up just like that. So on the inside of the runner, you want to do the same thing. Rough it up a little bit. Gives the solder something clean. Uh, to, uh, I use 91% uh, this. This been this been maple something maple this been something alcohol here just to clean up any grease oil grease you get from your fingers and what have you just clean that up good and then I'll use the tinning solution also to help the solder flow and what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna mark this now you can see my uh, got a little weight away from me here on the edge when I was carving this out. That's why it'd be nice if I had cutting all that out ahead of time. But I got my half inch line up there. I want it not exactly on the edge, just a little bit. So I got oh, maybe just about a sixteenth there and about a sixteenth over here. And we'll make a mark. And what I like to do is make one mark to start with. And I'm using a one sixteenth drill. Where's my block of wood? <laughs> 